Hey, hey everybody, this is Melina from scrapbookingwithme.com and me, Crafty Scrapper, here on YouTube and on Instagram. I wanted to try a tri-fold journal. So we have a 12 by 12 sheet of cardstock. It's just a cream colored cardstock. My desk is also a um, off-white um, finish so I've put this down just so that you can see this until we get it decorated so it's 12 by 12 we are going to cut it at 8 inches make it 8 inches tall so let's get our cutter and cut it tw um, 8 inches and then we are going to need our scoring tool. I'm using a score pal. You use whatever kind of scoring tool you would like to use. And we are going to score at four and at eight. Okay, then let's fold those score lines and make sure that we are even and use our bone folder. Okay, now what I want to do is have my front this way. I'm not folding it over that way. I want to do my front this way and I want to bend back the other side. We're going to do kind of like pamphlet style. Okay, so we have our three scores and then we have our front. Now, this is the part where you can just freestyle and do whatever you would like. But I want my front to have like a scalloped edge or even a free edge, but just the way I've drawn it. And then I'm going to fussy cut it out. And I want that to be shorter, of course, than that part. But I'm just going to do a little design. And I think I will... Go out a little and then come in and go out and then maybe do circle and then come back out. Maybe do it circular instead of at a point because that kind of looks like a pumpkin with a wart. <laughs> All right, let's do there. And there. We're going to cover this up with pattern cardstock so it doesn't matter that you've got some pencil lines and my daughter is the artist in our in our house so I'm not doing her much justice here. But I just want to do some kind of design. I like that. So let's just cut along our design that we made.
we have that decorative front there and if you want to use your tear tool that would be really cute to do tear tool right down through there but I just wanted a little design of my own and what we're going to do is we're going to cover that with um, some type of pattern cardstock and then here we can add a pocket and here we can add a flip down or a flip up however we can do a tip in there and then just pattern paper on the back because that's the back and it needs to be flush to the when you lay it down and then when we open this up we're going to put a journal signature in there and then we're going to tie it all up with some ribbon or twine or something so that is what we are going to do I'm going to pick out some pattern paper here and I think I'm going to use this home again collection that I got from the um, boutique scrapbookingwithme.com I really like that paper so I think I will use that on the front so what you're going to do is line it up so that you have enough room to cut there so you're going to line it up on this and you are going to see how much you need make a mark and make a mark here I'm just going to do that mark just so that I know that I have plenty of room so it's like that piece there is a template for you and this cardstock that's in this collection is really sturdy it's got a texture to it it feels very nice and you know it's going to hold up really well so I'm going to fold it back like it's supposed to be and then I'm going to adhere it on I'm going to put my glue on the decorative part so I know that, that is the area that needs to be adhered and I don't put it on there and get the glue all over the place and not just on my front cover all right let's see directional yep let's go this way and then turn it over here and make sure that you've got it pretty even and then turn it over and make sure you've got that covered there and go up just a little bit here there we go all right and get that adhered very well push all that glue down okay and then you're going to fussy cut around this and get it all cut to the design of your front cover I'm going to speed this up for you so you won't have to be lulled to sleep from my fussy cutting these little intricate scallops All right, now I want to figure out what color I want showing here even before I do that um, flip out that I'm going to put right there. Let's see. I like that back behind it. That's pretty. So this should be 4 inches by 8 inches, but I'm going to measure with my T-square just to make sure. And we have four inches. 
by eight inches. So I want to cover the entire thing, but I'm still going to come back just a sixteenth of an inch from four inches just so that it is not directly on top of that fold. Because if you do that, then you're going to have bulkiness and it's going to be um, bulked up and the paper will be turned up on that corner. So I will add that there and kind of put it toward the middle but out a little further so that when you turn it over, see, you're seeing that and it's not anywhere near that fold. Okay, so let's get that adhered on. Get me a new felt, and I'm going to use this walnut stain. And I'm going to ink the edges of this paper, and it is inevitably going to ink that cardstock on the edge too, and that's fine because I like this darker look. Just ink all those edges. Yeah, I like that dark look on that. And then come here and ink there. Don't do as I do. Do as I say. Ink ink your cardstock before you adhere it down. Now on this it doesn't matter because you've got a free edge here that you can use. And then you've got a free edge here. Now it's that long fold that I'll have to be goofy with again. Let's see here. But that does fold a little bit easier so won't be as hard. Let's see. I like that. Alright, let's close that up until we need it again. Alright, so there is. Let me get that just a little bit more. Okay. So I like how that is looking so far. Now let's go ahead and get that taken care of. So I would like to do this there. And when you're using pattern paper that has wording on it, so even if you don't like the wording, you can always go back. Like, we're going to add a pocket right there. So we'll have that covered up. So it doesn't matter what it says on the pattern paper. But I like that. And then maybe, what does this look like for this other panel? That's going to be the back. I like that. Okay, so we did this and this. And that's going to be, see, on the back. Yep, I like that. Okay, so let's do a, let's go ahead and do, since we've got a free edge, I'm going to go ahead and do four inches by eight inches. And then I'm going to cut this page down and put there.
Okay, so I went ahead and added that cardstock to the back and fussy cut down the scallop, my freehand scallop. And then I put on my back. There's the back cover. There's the front. Okay, and now we have this and this, and then we have this, and this is where our signature is going to be sewn in. So there's going to be some thread lines down through there. Yeah, I want to go ahead and just, I'm going to go ahead and cut the panels four by eight. Um, this one I'm going to cut just a little shy of four inches, just so it's not overlapping on either one of these. But I'm going to cut both in this yes and then have that signature down the middle and that signature will divide these but i want that same cohesive colors on both sides so let's cut that okay you're going to get it as even as possible and making sure not to be on top of those fold lines and get it moved as quickly as possible and then get all that glue evenly distributed under there all right and then i'm going to add this other one I'm going to add this pocket here. So let's see here. I'm going to let's see. <laughs> I'm going to adhere this corner or this side and this side with eight inch, uh, eighth inch score tape. And then I'm going to put it around that. it here to the other side so just little eight inch eighth of an inch score tape itty bitty so that you got plenty of room to put something in there and then I'm going to put score tape make me a mark here I'm going to put this I should have left the backing on put score tape up to about right there let's see here I'm just going to kind of go around my scallops and you could definitely use liquid adhesive if you wanted to but with pockets I like to use score tape for the simple reason that gl liquid glue goes everywhere. It spreads everywhere when you put it on. And it closes up your pocket more than you would like for it to be closed up. So I don't use liquid adhesive too much when I'm putting a pocket on. So there's all of that done. And then I'm just going to First off, I'm going to distress and notch the top, which I don't know why I'm doing that side. I got to cut that off. Let's notch that top there. Where do I need to notch that? About 
about right there. Okay, and then ink my notch. And if you are a stickler as far as getting your notch exactly perfectly centered, then of course measure as much as you would like. But look at that, I almost got it <laughs> centered with that wreath that's in the background. So here we go again with our fussy cutting. That is the most labor intensive part of this entire journal. It's just whatever design you have made on the front you will have to fussy cut around it three times once for the front once for the back and then once just at the bottom for this pocket if you decide you want a pocket on the back of the cover we could of course just left it alone and not put a pocket but I felt like that just needed a little pocket so, dun, dun, I'm going to cut that a little, but that's okay because we are going to distress those edges and all will be covered up. That is one of my main reasons I love distress ink and distressing the edges of my projects because even if it looks a little wonky when it's naked, it won't once you use that distress ink. So we could, let's see if we've got a cut apart in this and see what it looks like. And I already know that this will need to be cut down some. So I'm going to use my paper trimmer and cut just about a fourth of an inch off on both sides. Let's see if that Yep, cute. Okay, I'm distress those edges. And you could even, you can get your crocodile All right, I've got some black twine here that I'm going to put through that hole we just made with our crocodile. And it is far down so make your string a little longer okay and I'm going to tie a knot just because it's longer there and then add that there cute I like that yeah. I think I'm going to use this as my flip up and I will add a sticker or something here. And I like those magnolias. That's pretty. There we go. Got that. Now I'm going to make a flip up. And I want it as long as the page. So I want it eight inches, but then I'm going to have that um, that back behind there too to flip it up. 
so I'm going to cut it at eight and a half by just shy of four inches and I'm going to score this at eight just to give me that half inch slip under okay so when I adhere this there do my distressing along, along the edge distress the inside also let's get some quarter inch score tape here and put on this here And maybe just a little bit of Barely Arts glue, too, just on those free edges, just a little bitty stream of it, just so that I can get it um, positioned and not totally stuck before I get it positioned the way I need it. So there's that and that. Let's look here and make sure that looks even. And it does. Use our bone folder there. Okay. That is beautiful. I love that fold out. Lots and lots of room for whatever there. Punch outs. How about that? I'm going to do these smaller one fourths. And let's do the power of three. Let's see how that looks. Since we've got that scalloped front. Okay, I'm going to put those there. And then I'm going to put a sticker. Whoop, I'm going to distress the sides of these. Foist. And just kind of willy nilly add some separation from that front cover to what we added there. Yep, I'm going to add that there. Pretty. Okay, so there is that and the flip up. Cute. All right, I'm not going to do anything to the back. That's the back. And then let's add that signature. Okay, I'm going to use this as my cover because I want it tucked in there really good and I don't want it coming over the edges so I'm going to cut it at seven and a half tall this way Melina seven and a half tall okay and then I'm going to this is going to fold and make our cover for our signature so seven and seven eighths let's do that all right, and then fold it over because I want it to 
tuck in there really good and not give me too much bulk. I'm not going to add too many pages to this just because it is a tight squeeze. Yeah, so I like that. I like that it's shorter and I like that oh yeah I like that it tucks in really well it's not hanging over not hanging over top or the bottom so I will distress these edges not that you're going to see that too much because this cardstock is really dark but I'm going to gonna to gonna to distress these edges a little bit and then turn it inside out and distress that also that too but that doesn't clash as much and when you open it up that's very cute it's very cute all right let's add some just um regular copy paper let's do that let's add three let's do four sheets Get those as even as possible. There we go. And I don't think that this back part needs any pockets or anything because it would make it too bulky since it is a trifold. All right, so we're going to line that up get to center there we go get it to center and then we're going to get some clips there we go that is better all right we need to fold that out put our foam under there get this as centered as possible and then get another clip so we've got seven and a half and we need to go to right about there for center and let's make sure that we're going down the spine and into our that works and then we need to go about here just kind of eyeball it you don't have to be precisely exact make sure you're all the way through and you are and then come up here get on your foam piece all right, you're all the way through. I can feel my desk. Okay. Some thread, and if you have wax thread, that is even better. One, two, and three. Get to your length that you need. Got something on my end of my needle. All right, all the way through. And we're going to hold out about that much. And then we're going to go through on this side. And 
There. Oop, don't want to come that far. Okay, and then we're going to go all the way to the end. And then we're going to go back to middle. Okay, and come through there. And then we're going to have one side, one tail on one end and another tail on the other end. And we're going to pull it tight. You don't pull extremely tight because you're in cardstock and not chipboard. There, that knot. And one more. All right. Okay. Take our clips off. And there's our almost distressed signature in there and use our bone folder fold it over good okay now if we want to add some decoration to the front you're going to be pulled up just a little bit but it's not too bad once you get some twine on there or something to close it up. There's our flip up and our little pocket with our twine out there. And I think I will use that black baker's twine to close it back up. I did get a little off center right there. You can see where the thread is. Oh well, I'm not perfect. Gasp. You know what? We'll cover that up a little bit. Inking that thread. Let's just go ahead and do that. That covers up the boo boo a little bit. Look at there. Hee <laughs> hee. I love distress inking. All right, now you could of course add something there, but I would add something very flat and something there. And I want to add something to the front and we will be good to go. Let's see what these other cut aparts are that's in here. Life does not have to be perfect to be wonderful. That is exactly correct. Just like this journal does not have to be perfect to be wonderful, because it is wonderful. That's a cute little saying, but I don't like that. I might cut around, yep, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut around this, because that is very cute. And then add some torn cardstock behind it, and ink that. Dirty that up some, because I got two bold that little space I like that and then some torn let's not go over our deco edge pull that together some oh I like that okay let's go ahead and put a little dot of glue so we'll know how we want these two pieces together and then because knowing me I would never get it back to the spot that I wanted it at go around those edges and those edges and I'm just barely going and leaving some of that white I'm not going as heavy on the distressing I'm going to bend that back and go here and there that's probably going to get covered up anyway so we're good and I have to go there so that it doesn't 
cut into that. And let's look at those stickers. Or maybe these borders. And see if there's a border I could put along the bottom. That wouldn't be too fussy. Oh, I like that together. Yeah, I like that. I'm just going to cut out the word together. And ink the edges. And put it center on the bottom. And ink. Put that in the middle down there. Boop, 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 boop. I drive crazy with that glue. Just a touch. Okay. And then glue this on here like so. Then get all of this glue ready. Here we go, here we go. And try not to get all of the glue all over you, too. All right, I'm going to hold that up and make sure that it is straight and it does look to be so. Okay. I like that. Okay, so pocket with tag and it's got that same there. I'm fine with that. And flip up and then the back, and then come back to the front, open up, and there's a little signature journal for you. And then, unless I've got some green around here, and I do, I like that. Pretty. All right, I want to wrap it a few times. If you have not noticed with my videos, I adore Baker's Twine. All right, I'm gonna cut it there. And hopefully we have enough to wrap it around a few times. Because it's such a large or tall journal one time wouldn't be enough. So, if we can tie that the one time and then come around again, attach this. Okay, what I'm going to do with my closure is get up underneath my signature um, thread spine back here even and then I'm going to go just as close to this middle as possible and I'm going to knot it that is our middle of our signature but the spine on the back and I'm just going to knot it right there so you're good to go and it's not falling off and you can just wrap it around like this and pull through here or you can
wrap it around this way and then loop around, loop around, and tie a bow. Whichever way you would like. I just love Baker's twine. I love tying things up with string. I think that's in a song, isn't it? But that is our trifold journal from a 12 by 12 sheet of cardstock. And I was using the Home Again collection that we have in the shop. So let me know how you liked this tutorial, even with all of my mistakes and boo-boos and getting glue all over the place. We're all human, right? So let me know how you like this journal. I love how it turned out. I love all the elements to it. And I love the colors in that collection. But um, here's one more little flip through. We've got that die cut with the torn paper behind with other um, piece off of that elements sheet. And our tag here with our pocket and magnolia sticker there. And some black Baker's twine out of that. And we've got a flip up here. And we could do all kinds of stuff here and here if we wanted to. Then close that. And you've got your signature. Just a small signature with some blank pages in it. And you can dress those up however you would like. You just don't want to put too much bulk on them. We've got that there. And then we've got our closure tied to our signature spine there on the back side and then you can close it just like this and put it behind or you can tie a bow whichever way you would like to work that but I love this little journal and I like how it turned out and I'm going to trim that baker's twine so it is even right there. And there we go. Very cute, very simple trifold journal. And I want to see if you try it. Let me see pictures. Please post pictures in our Scrapbooking with Me Boutique uh, Facebook group. We would love to see your ideas and your take on what we do in our tutorial videos. Thanks so much guys y'all. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber here. Y'all have a blessed day. Bye.